Hi, I'm Kelly Ashton, and I'm an educator for Handy Quilter. We are in the Handy Quilter studio today, and we're going to talk about the 6 by 1 8 inch matchstick ruler. So, I love to quilt matchsticks. I love to quilt piano keys, so I'm pretty excited about figuring out how to use this ruler. It's awesome. Um, we have some examples of how it's quilted up here and also down here. But I want to just take a few minutes and show you, like hold the ruler and show you how it works exactly. So down here, I cannot stitch left-handed, so we're going to just try to stay out of the way of the camera. One minute. Okay, so this has a, a gap in there that we have to s raise our needle, and then we can slide that around the gap, okay? Now how these work is we're going to put the needle down and I want to have matchstick piano keys that are just an eighth an inch apart. So how this ruler helps me to do that is I have the foot bumped up against the left side of the ruler right now and I have just a well, one eighth inch gap. So I'm going to stitch and all the way to the right till I bump the right edge and then I'm going to stitch down and stitch back up and I'm still bumped up against the right side so I'm going to slide the ruler over till it hits the left side of the foot and now I'm going to turn on my machine and stitch to the right till it bumps the right side of the ruler and go down and up and I'm going to slide the ruler over stitch over to the right and down and up and what this allows me to do is perfectly measure that 1 8 inch seam. So I can do this all the way across here. I'll finish up this triangle. Whoops. And I'm going to go down and straight back. Now I'm going to stitch to the right till I bump up against that ruler. And when I'm doing these um, flying geese, I'm going to stitch all the way straight down. And I can keep this ruler in place and I just have to decide do I want to use the left side of the ruler or the right side and generally our hands pull to our body so it's easier for me if I'm pulling to my body rather than pushing away so I'm going to use the side of the ruler closest to me and stitch at an angle to that straight line I've drawn and once again I'm going to use the side of the ruler that's closer to me and stitch it out like that okay now I'm going to stitch to the right, bump into the ruler, stitch down and back. Slide the ruler over. Okay. All right. And as you're stitching, you always want to have your hand holding the ruler in the safest position, which for me would be more like this, but I'm trying to keep it so that I'm not blocking the view for you. Slide it over, stitch to the right, and down and back. Do you love it? I love this ruler. I'm so excited that I can get those perfect stitches. Now I have found one thing with this ruler is a little bit tricky. If I want to take the ruler off my foot right now, I raise my needle. Because of the way the foot is shaped, how it hooks like this, I can't slide it off very easily with the gap to the right. So I need to flip the ruler around and have the gap to the left and it easily slides right off of the foot. Now this ruler is full of awesome markings. You've got all kinds of 45, 60, 90 degree angles. So you can use it to rotate and get those angles anywhere you want. One of the things that I love about these rulers, uh, which includes the line grid rulers, is that I can do piano keys from left to right and hold the ruler comfortably, or I can stitch piano keys from right to left and still hold the ruler comfortably, but use those etched lines as my guide. So I hope you love the matchstick ruler as much as I do. And once again, I can't wait to see what you come up with and what you stitch with this ruler.